bone dry eastern Arizona. That monster wildfire is on the move tonight. Flames 150 feet high, smoke spreading more than a thousand miles. Last night, we told you the fire was bigger than Chicago. Tonight, it's bigger than Chicago and New York City combined. Clayton Sandell reports from Springerville, Arizona. Firefighters tried desperately today to hold the lines against a fire that scored a cruel victory. Searing flames forced crews to retreat from the town of Greer overnight, where several homes were destroyed. You can see just how fast it spread, exploding in size as it surged north. 11 days old now, it hasn't stopped growing. Alex Hoon knows the science behind what is driving these monster flames. One problem, the fire is creating its own weather, forming something called a pyrocumulus cloud. The fire is so intense, it has so much heat that it actually forms its own little thunderstorm at the top of the smoke plume. They're bad news, creating winds that start new fires by hurling debris as far as five miles through the air. I've seen flaming pine cones. The amount of heat that it's generating, it can, it can shoot stuff off very, very far. Science may help understand fires. Gas is off. Leave the windows open, they said. But it doesn't help evacuees like Ann and Harvey Cook decide what to take with them. That is driven by the heart. Well, you should see what we already took out. We, we took out a, a ton of memories, I guess. The Soderberg family struggles with saving things that are practical, like birth certificates, along with the sentimental. And these are all her belt buckles. She's won barrel racing. So that has to go. For them, evacuating is slightly more complicated. <laughs> with two pigs, five horses, and seven dogs. Water dropping helicopters and airplanes have been attacking this fire from the air all day. But with more hot, dry weather in the next few days, they're going to be at it for a while. Diane?